Hello everyone, Colin Canette here for Woodwork Web. I don't do these talking videos very often, uh, but sometimes it's quicker for me to do these than trying to respond to uh, emails and comments. Uh, but before I get into it, I want to give a shout out to Stefan, before I forget, who introduced himself to me at Goats on the Roof. Uh, always love to meet other woodworkers, so if you see me out somewhere, come over and introduce yourself to me. I'm always happy to meet uh, other woodworkers. Today I want to talk basically about three things. I want to talk about comments. I want to talk about 100,000 subscribers that we have coming up. So we've got a little contest coming up there. Not sure quite yet. but And the third thing I want to talk about, I get so many comments still on the tools that I have in the back here. At the end of the video, I'm going to talk a little bit about those tools back there. First of all, I want to give a quick thanks to everybody who helps me in the comments. We have a lot of experienced woodworkers that uh, follow our comments uh, on our videos and they help other other woodworkers with comments and questions and honestly I'm getting so many comments it's getting difficult for me to keep up with them and so I really want to thank all of you who are helping our other subscribers that means a lot to me. And while I'm in thanking mode, uh, I don't do this very often, but I really appreciate everybody who follows our channel, uh, people that comment. Um, it really, it means a lot to me to have uh, such great support out there. So thanks to everybody. I, I sincerely appreciate it. And still on the topic of comments, sometimes people ask me questions in comments and I can't respond to them. It's because there's a glitch in YouTube between uh, some channels that, you just can't respond so sorry I, I just there's nothing I can do with those uh, you could send me an email if you want if it's really important to you well we have a big milestone coming up we're coming up to a hundred thousand subscribers and we're not just sure what we're going to do we've got some little thing planned uh, we're going to have kind of a contest or something we've got some prizes lined up but we need to be able to contact people to send out uh, whoever the winners are for this, whatever it's going to be, um, we need to have email addresses to find out what your mailing address is. So if you're a member of Woodwork Web, you're okay because we already have your email address. If you're not a member of Woodwork Web, we're going to set up a, a special little temporary place where people can email us. You just send us your um, email and then if you're a winner, we'll actually email you to get your, your address. So but there's going to be more detail on that shortly. I'm just giving you a little bit of heads up ahead of time. Okay, now's that time that I said I would talk about the tools here. And we'll be quick here. A lot of people have asked what these plier things are for. They are tooth sets. And tooth sets are for saws like this. This is a, an older hand saw. And when you sharpen these, you also need to set the teeth. And you can't really tell right now, but the teeth on a, on, a, on a handsaw like this are not always straight like this. They have a kind of an angle to them, and that's what these are, is to set, reset those angles after you have sharpened them. So they're, they're teeth set uh, tools, and uh, there's all sorts of different kinds of them. I thought I was going to collect them, but there's just so many that I kind of lost interest. Of course, these these, these two are planes. This is a, a T-square, but this is the one that confounds everybody. So let's go over to the table sauce, and I'll show you what this thing, how it works. Okay, here's the gauge that we've been talking about. And if you look closely, you'll see that there's little numbers in these circles at each one of these angles. And the purpose of that, for example, there's an eight. So if you wanted to make an eight-sided figure, you would just use this as a guideline. So rather than trying to measure everything, there's your preset angle right there. And for example, we'll show you how this would work on a table saw. So there's the eight, the number eight, so that references an eight-sided figure. So you would put that against the blade there. And for example, you might put your miter gauge against it. Now mine's a little bit too short, so you might need to put an extension on there and line up the extension and the blade, and there you go. There's the preset angle. But you also may want to do that vertically, and you might use this also 
on a miter gauge or on a miter saw so you could take this little heavy brass knob off and it all it is is something to hold it up and on a table saw for example you would tilt the blade you can see that you would tilt the blade on a miter saw you would tilt the blade or a band saw or even a jointer so that you get an angle to set and that's all that is. It's just a gauge for finding angles, for making multi-sided boxes or um, clocks, picture frames, that sort of thing. And these gauges are available from Lee Valley Poly. I think they're called a poly gauge. Available from Lee Valley is a free plug for, for Lee Valley today. So once again, everybody, thanks for all of your support. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned because uh, we still got lots more coming your way. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web.